Yo! In this video, I'm going to give you the best microphone settings, filters, and EQ plugins I use for streaming and recording. I'll also show you how to level your microphone audio with your desktop audio perfectly, which is something I personally struggled with for years until my good friend Gonsi gave me these settings. So if they help you just as much as they helped me out, show him some love by subscribing to him on YouTube or following his Twitch channel to say thank you. I'm recording this video using the microphone settings right now without anything extra done to the mic audio in my editing program. And just so you can truly hear the difference, here's what it sounds like in OBS without the settings I stole from Gonsi. It's a lot harder to hear me right now because the game audio is way too loud. You'll also notice when I stream into the microphone like this, OBS has a fit and tells me I'm way too loud. And when I talk normally, the level is much lower. Even if you adjust the gain in your microphone like I have to be in the sweet spot, I'll show you where this is later. The gameplay and microphone levels will constantly fluctuate all over the place unless you have certain filters on it. And here's what everything sounds like with Gonsi's filters enabled. First thing you should notice is you can actually hear me clearly without it sounding like I'm constantly competing with the game audio. And if I'm super loud like this, <laughs> my mic volume pretty much stays the same regardless of whether I'm loud or talking normally, which is what you should aim for because you don't want people to constantly be turning the volume up and down while they watch your latest Minecraft Let's Play. Okay, so to add the microphone filters, right click your mic in the audio mixer and select filters. Press the plus button here or right click in this section and add a compressor. This will help balance your mic audio levels by making loud sounds quieter so they won't spike or distort if you speak loudly or shout. And because I'm going to be changing a lot of settings and I want to do this quickly, I'm only going to explain what the filters do, not the individual settings inside them. But if you want to read about them, I'll leave a link to OBS's filter guide in the video's description. So once you've added the compressor, pause the screen now and copy these settings. I also use noise suppression to help remove background noise because I live next to a main road. Only add this if you need it because adding noise suppression can negatively affect your microphone quality depending on how far you move this slider to the left. The further it is, the stronger the noise suppression will be. I recommend recording your voice first just to work out if you even need it because your desktop audio could end up masking most of the background noise. But if you do need it, the trick is to find a good balance and never add more than you need. I personally keep my noise suppression level at minus 25 decibels. Also, only ever use speaks as the method. If you change to RN noise, it will cut your voice off if you get too loud. For this reason, it's pretty stupid of them to make RN noise the default method when you add noise suppression. I can only imagine how many people have had their voice cut off in live streams or recordings without knowing RN noise is the reason why. I also use a free EQ plugin for OBS which I've had on the entire time while recording this video. My mic is pretty decent so I sound fine without it but I definitely prefer having it on because it gives it some extra oomph. The settings I'm currently using are what I think sounds best for my voice so they're my personal preference but if you want to give yourself a bassy podcaster kind of voice like this. Oh damn. Then this is the plugin you need. It's called Vox and Go Marvel GEQ and I've left a link in the description to where you can get it. If you're on Windows, click here to download it. When it's done, run the installer. Let it install in its default location because that's where OBS will check for the plugin. Once it's installed, close and reopen OBS so OBS can locate it. Go back to your mic filters and add the VST plugin. Select Marvel in the dropdown. Nothing will appear here until you refresh the window. So click on another filter and click back. Then click open plugin interface. This is the preset I used when recording this video. Since there's no option to listen to your voice while you're changing the sliders, it took me about an hour to settle on these settings. Feel free to copy my preset, but I highly recommend you play around with the sliders like I did until you settle on something that's perfect for you, because I understand everyone's mic, voice, and EQ preference is different. The presets that came with the plugin are located here. If you want to hear what they sound like, tell OBS to start recording and just go through them. If you want to save a preset you've made, click presets, then the plus button in the bank section. Name it whatever you want. Then in the preset section, click the plus and name the preset. You can also click save to save the preset on your hard disk drive if you want to import it at a later time. This will save you the torment of double clicking and writing the numbers in manually. Here's Gonsi's preset that I stole from him just in case you want to try his out. I really don't know what setter's default does if I'm being honest because at least for me, it never changes from the currently activated preset showing on your screen after you close the interface. Last thing you should know about this EQ is if you ever have trouble opening the interface after you've closed it, close the filter window completely completely, reopen it, then try opening the interface again. This always works for me. Now we're going to add a limiter to limit our microphone's audio level. Make the threshold minus 5 decibels and leave the release at 60 milliseconds. Once you've done this, speak normally into your mic to check your mic audio level. The best audio level to be at when speaking normally is at the top of the yellow line where the yellow line meets the red. If your mic level is close to the limiter threshold we set at minus 5 decibels, your voice will never be too low or too loud and you'll always sound balanced. If you talk normally and your audio level isn't anywhere near the limiter 
threshold we set, then your mic gain is too low. To ensure it's turned up all the way in Windows, open Sound Settings, click Sound Control Panel, click the Recording tab, select your microphone and click Properties. Go to the Level section and make sure it's at 100, then go back to OBS. If there's a gain dial on your mic, turn it up while you're talking normally into it until you're around the top of the yellow area. If you've got a headset mic, you can go back into Mic Filters and add a gain filter if you really need to get your mic level higher. Before we're done here, the mic filters we've added have to be in a certain order or they won't work correctly. You should always have your compressor first and your limiter last in the filter chain, so just copy what you see here. If you needed to add a gain filter, make sure it's after your noise suppression. I'd probably put mine between the VST plugin and the limiter. And just so we don't have to worry about how loud our desktop audio is again, we're going to add filters to perfectly level it. Right click desktop audio, click filters, add a compressor and write ducking on the end of the name. Before we change the settings here, add a limiter, leave the release at 60 milliseconds, make the threshold minus 19 decibels so our desktop audio will never go above that limit. Since we limited our mic to minus 5 earlier, these limits ensure your desktop audio is loud enough to be heard when you're not speaking, but when you are speaking, people will always be able to hear you clearly over your desktop audio. There's nothing more annoying than watching a video or stream where you're trying to make out what the person is saying because their desktop audio is louder than their microphone. This solves that problem. Go back to the compressor docking filter and copy these settings. So just like the compressor filter we added for the mic, this will also make louder sounds quieter so the audio sounds more balanced. And we're also going to add ducking by making our microphone the sidechain ducking source in the drop down menu. What this will do is make our desktop audio slightly lower when we're talking over it, which places more emphasis on our voice. You could make it so the desktop audio drops more when you talk by messing with the threshold slider, but my personal opinion when it comes to ducking your audio is that it sounds best when it's almost unnoticeable for the people watching. If you're watching something and you constantly hear audio dropping and rising, that's when it starts becoming a distraction. Alright guys, that's it. Subscribe to Gowancy. I hope you'll have a good one today. I cut my beard today. Do you guys like it? I like it. It's time to stop. It's this time is to stop. Okay? I've never seen in my life. No more. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for telling me I suck. Ow.